Hello, this is Becky Shawlett, Director of Enrollment Management and Communications at Bishop Lewis Riker Catholic School. Welcome to our Cougar Chat. Today we have Lori Espinoza, one of our amazing parents, and she's going to talk to us about why you belong at Bishop Riker. Lori, hello. Hey, Becky. How are you doing today? Good. It's great to be here. Isn't it though? Yeah. Yes. It's such a beautiful day, and it's a Friday. It is pretty, I know. Friday, um, as yes. they call it at the pre-K here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, anyway, thank you so much for coming and doing our Cougar chat. Um, you're a graduate of Rikers. So tell me a little bit about when you graduated. Well, a long and, time ago. Long ago. <laughs> Not too long. Not too long. But uh, I went. I, but I went to St. Louis when it was St. Louis uh-huh. since been renamed. I started in first grade and I graduated at Riker. Amazing. So I have a long history uh, with this school. Absolutely. So tell me about your fondest memory, whether it be at St. Louis or at the high school. Um, well, my friends. I still have friends that were my friends in first grade. So several of them. And I have close relationships. I see them today. Uh, So besides education and being involved um, at Riker, which I think is still a Mm -hmm, thing now, um, you learn so much that you bring into your life, that I bring into my daily life as a mom, as a pharmacist. Um, I've had a great foundation, and I know it started here. I love that. I love that. Now, you're on the other side of the spectrum. Yes. You're a parent. parent. You're a parent. So you have two beautiful children here. Yes. And tell me a little bit about um, their age, what grade they're in, so I and have their a, journey here. So I have Ryan, who's a third grader, mm-hmm. and he started in kindergarten. And then I have Liam, who's uh, the caboose, and he's in pre-K-4. And he has been in pre-K-3, and Ryan started in kindergarten. Yeah, so tell me a little bit from a parent's perspective as to how you, how you see your children growing and thriving and developing in their faith. Uh they're doing great. I, if you want a faith example, um, so the pre-K four have chapel with Sister Maxine mm-hmm. Marie, mm-hmm. and they've been learning this song, and they must sing it every week. I don't know, but but Liam comes home and we'll find him, and he's just singing this song, and it melts your heart. Um, and the other day we were cooking dinner, and my husband's like, "Listen, do you hear that?" And he had gotten out the guitar and he was strumming and singing the song. And then I got it on video and at the end, I was like, that's so good. And he took a bow. I don't know where he loved the bow, but I'm sure it's here. But that's, they love the the sisters for one thing, but they love being here. And I see like, here's this little pre-K form. We went to church on Sunday and he was genuflecting. (laughs) It's just, it's really cute to see him grow. And then Ryan is just like, I think with him, it's more of a social justice like when we see homeless people mom you're not giving them enough money we need to stop and give them money so I think there's that heart to serve and I think that's being fostered here absolutely absolutely so um Ryan started um probably a little bit before our transition to our classical curriculum so we're at the end of our second year for the most part with our transition to classical curriculum. And can you see a difference? A little um, bit? I can. In the past years of, with COVID and everything, it, there's just been a lot of transitions. Yes. But I noticed that Ryan is so much more curious. Like I find him asking questions. Sometimes they're really hard questions, but I guess he's having that higher thinking. thinking. Uh, one thing I've noticed is this year, Miss Jackson has them reciting poetry. Mm-hmm. They memorize poem every week. And at first I thought this would be something he's not going to like. You know, he loves it and he's doing so well at it. And I really saw it come full circle over spring break. We were at the Houston Zoo mm-hmm. and we were looking at the tigers. And then all of a sudden I heard Ryan chanting something under his breath. I'm like, what are you doing? And he's reciting the tiger, which was a poem that he learned at the beginning of the year and so I was like you know that's really neat that he's taking this poem the tiger that Miss Jackson had them learn and he's applying it when we're looking at the tiger so to me that's kind of like connecting the dots um and I think we've also transitioned from not as much just packet and worksheets like there's a bigger yes thinking thinking about life thinking about art thinking about everything but there's still science and math you know yes, there's yeah, still those things but, absolutely but I like the way he's thinking yeah and I think that's one of the things that I love to say when I'm visiting with people is that we develop thinkers yes you know students who know how to think and do you feel that the skills I know um Ryan is only in third grade uh-huh. you know right now but that's a big grade uh-huh. but do you feel that he's developing skills that are lifelong that will be with him oh absolutely um, from now until absolutely in the future I already 
think that he's developing a mind for writing and thinking. And Ryan, he's struggled with writing, but he's done really well this year of learning to form sentences and think think bigger and more dis- descriptive. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I think he is thinking. In That's- fact, he got the microscope out this morning. He was like, how do I use this? I'm like, okay. Well, and I, I just see this. He's wanting to do more. He's yeah. wanting to learn and like kind of has a thirst for knowledge yeah. more so than I think – before. And that's probably with age, but yeah. also schooling as well. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Liam is in pre-K four. Yes, started here in pre-K three. Yes. And tell me a little bit about what you think sets our pre-K f- program apart. Well, it all started. To it, we moved, we moved away from Waco and we came back, and uh, we have put Ryan in pre-K or kindergarten. Mm-hmm. And I was so impressed with the pre-K four students that had already been here that went forward. And I'm like, you know, when Liam's old enough, he's going into pre-K three. And so we start with Miss Darling, who's wonderful. And, um, and then you go into like Liam's classroom right now and it's bright, it's interactive. I mean, I kind of want to stay there and play because there's so much to learn and do. And I just see with Liam like this, it's kind of scary to send your child every day to school, but I think their development is so enhanced from it. Um, I think with Ryan, I was like, I don't want him to go to school every day with Liam. Like, he needs to go to school every day because it just develops that independence. Like, Liam's very independent, and I know it's because of school. And I know that the teachers here are fantastic. They're experienced, and I think they love the kids like their own. Absolutely. So, Genuinely. Yeah. Uh, so love them. And, you know, the junior high teachers know the pre-K-4 students. So I think there's that whole sense of community that you get with Bishop Lou Stryker. Yeah, I think that's just amazing. And uh, Lori, I want to thank you so much for coming in today and sharing with us why you love Bishop Riker Catholic yes. School. Thank you so much. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.